Welcome today, friends. We are here in our shepherd sanctuary, uh, standing at the altar where we celebrate the sacrament, where we take communion and meet Jesus' body and blood, his real presence here with us uh, during our worship services. And we're here today because we're continuing to talk about what communion is, the bread, the wine, how it, it is Jesus, it's his presence with us, um, and, and what all that means for us. So if we go back to the history of communion, way back into the Middle Ages, uh, when Latin was the language that most of the church services were conducted in, there's a phrase in the communion liturgy that said, hoc est corpus, which is some big Latin words that mean this is my body, this is the body of Jesus. Now, people who would make fun of the church, people who were kind of uh, mocking the church sometimes, would then change that hoc est corpus, they would get shortened into hocus pocus. That's where that phrase comes from, hocus pocus, because they thought it was ridiculous that people said that Jesus' body and blood that he, were his real presence, that he was really there. They thought there was some kind of magic that would happen at the communion rail, and so that's where that hocus pocus comes from and why it means something related to magic today. And that's what a lot of people might think, that as Christians we say Jesus is here, but these are just real ordinary bread and wine, just things, ordinary things, but they're Jesus' presence, it seems like it's a little funky or hocus-pocus, something going on. And, and you, even with the cloth here, we might say, oh, the pastor just waves his hands, he says the right words, and then poof, the, the body and the blood becomes Jesus. Like it was ordinary before, and, and now it becomes Jesus. And that's called transubstantiation, and that's actually not what we believe. We believe not that something has changed in communion or that something weird goes on. We just believe that because Jesus says he's here, that he is. This is his body and blood, like he tells us, the Last Supper. And we can't really explain exactly how it all happens. It, it's more than just magic, right? It's grace. It's God's forgiveness. And it's real. It's present with us right here. Uh, St. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, he says, The cup of blessing that we bless... Is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? We don't know how, we don't know exactly everything that goes on that, that makes it work, but we do know it's not just magic, it's real grace from God that we receive at communion. And that's what we celebrate, God's real presence here with us each time we take the sacrament. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your grace, for your presence with us. Thank you for being with us when we worship, when we take communion. Thank you for being with us each and every day of our lives. Thank you for being present with us, for giving us grace every day, every moment. It's in your Son's name that we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. You may subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the icon or watch similar videos by clicking on the link.